Let's talk about basic load cases in visual analysis. If we look at the ribbon under the home key, we see that we have a group here called load cases, which allows us to access a load case manager, to edit a load case, and the service case dropdown, which indicates which loads will be shown in the model view. It's interesting to note that under the loading tab, that same set applies, as well as very specific loads that you can modify. Let's start off with probably the most important dialog in visual analysis, and that's the load case manager dialog. If I select that from the ribbon, we see the following dialog with tabs for service cases, load combinations, dynamic, and advanced. We'll leave these last two for later discussion. The service cases tab look, allows us to look at those service cases that currently have loads in them. If we select show empty cases below, we'll see all of the possible service cases, even the ones with zero loads. When we look at a service case, we have the option to modify it. If I double click on it or hit the modify button at the bottom of the screen, a dialog will pop up, which gives the name of the service case, the source that this service case is, the loads are applied to, whether we're going to include this case in the analysis or and in the building code combinations, and a pattern ID. Lastly, they allow us to specify the self-weight for this load case. For the dead load case, we're using the vertical axis, which is the y-axis in this case, for our self-weight. If we wanted to use custom factors and say, I would like to use self-weight in the z direction, I would enter a minus one to be in the negative z direction, for example. So self-weight is defined in this dialog. We'll go ahead and go back to use vertical axis. So that's how we modify and work with service cases. Another comment to make about service cases is that there are instances when you want to create pattern cases. And an example would be a snow load case where we might have one snow load case that has all full snow load, another snow load case that might have a drift in one area and another a drift in the other and so forth. So we would like to have multiple load cases with the source snow, but to be treated separately. How do we do that? Well, we do that by generating pattern cases. For example, let's start off with currently we have dead load selected. I want to, let's say it was slow, snow. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and show the empty cases, go down and select snow, and now I'm going to generate, let's say I want to generate three pattern cases. If I select snow and hit this generate pattern cases, and now take a look at what we have. At the end here, we have snow load case one, two, and three generated. So these are three additional snow service load cases that I can apply loads to. And notice the pattern ID numbers is chosen, one, two, three. You actually have control over that pattern ID number if you'd like by editing the case.